Common kingfishers are renowned for their beautiful blue plumage. The entire upper portion of the bird, wings, back and head are completely blue. The underbelly and a small patch underneath, the eyes are rich chestnut. The throat and a small part of the side of the neck is brightly white. They have a small red feet. Their beaks are long, sharp and strong for the purpose of catching and holding the prey. Males and females are very similar except for their beaks. A male's beak is jet black while the lower half of the female beak is chestnut. Juveniles are slightly more green and duller than adults. Mating is the only time that common kingfisher individuals are not solitary. At the beginning of the mating season, male will chase females through the trees producing a loud whistle. Common kingfishers will find a new mate each year. Mating only occurs in the warmer months of the year, starting in the April and ending sometimes as late as October. In about mid-March, nesting begins. The male and female work together to dig a hole into a bank along a water source. Common kingfishers prefer steep banks. The holes are of various depth and are dug into various types of soil. Usually, a hole between 15 and 30 cm long is dug, but on occasion some as deep as 1.2 meters have been discovered. They may have nest in clay, rock or sandy ground. Nest also vary in distance. They are above the water with the distance varying from 0.5 to 37 meters above the water level. However, both parents will raise and feed the young. The female will do most of the work. Common kingfishers will brood 2 to 3 clutches a year. These clutches consist usually 6 to 7 eggs, but there may be as many as 10 or even more than that. Both males and females help to raise the young. For 19 to 21 days, they incubate the eggs. Both will incubate during the day, only the female at night. Both have active roles in brooding and feeding the young, but the female does most of the work. One parent will hunt, then return with the fish exactly the right size of the young. They will also hold it by the tail so that the ink can swallow the fish head first. When the young are able and they will eagerly wait at the opening of the burrow to be fed. Common kingfishers can live for as long as 15 years. The average lifespan is 7 years. However, the first months of development are the most dangerous with only 50% of the young surviving to the adulthood. Common kingfishers are very territorial as are all kingfishers. This is mainly because they must eat around 60% of their body weight every day. They will even defend their area from their mates and offspring. For most of the year, individuals are solitary roosting in heavy cover next to their favorite hunting spot. If another kingfisher enters into its territory, both birds will sit on the perch some distance from each other and engage in territorial displays. This usually entails displaying beaks and plumage. Occasional fights also occur where a bird will grab the other one's beak and try to hold them underwater. The flight of common kingfishers is very fast, which makes their wings look like a blue haze. Common kingfishers can be seen flitting about waterways and wetlands. Territory size is highly variable. Size depends on food availability, the quality and availability of nesting sites and individual behavior. Common kingfishers have advanced eyesight with the ability to polarize light. Reducing the reflection of light off the water, they also learn to compensate for refraction, allowing them to catch prey more effectively. Common kingfishers communicate vocally. They are very well known for their long trilling calls which sounds like a repetition of key. When mating, a male will whistle loudly to a female and chase her above and through the trees. In a dive for a prey, a membrane covers their eyes and they really solely on touch to know when to snap their jaws shut. Common kingfishers hunt for a prey from a perch above the water. Perches may be several centimeters to several meters above the water. When they see potential prey, they dive into water, grab the prey and fly back out. Sometimes when a perch is unavailable, they will hover above the water to search for a prey. After catching a fish, common kingfishers will hold the prey by its tail and whack it against the perch. This stuns or kills the prey, which is particularly important when eating fish with spines. After consuming a fish, it will regurgitate a pellet of indigestible bone. Common kingfishers eat mostly small fish, making up to 60 to 67% of their diet.
common kingfishers have also been known to eat crabs and other small marine animals during the winter. Common kingfishers are few natural predators as adults. However, because they are high on the food chain, they are susceptible to the effects of bioaccumulation. The concentration of pollutants as they climb the food chain, nestlings may be preyed on by snakes and other ground-dwelling predators. But kingfishers are aggressive birds and do defend their young against predators. Kingfishers are a good indicator of ecosystem health because kingfishers eat small aquatic animals. They are severely affected by toxins in the water. A strong kingfisher pollution usually means a healthy environment. Common kingfisher are important predators on small fish and freshwater habitats throughout the range. Common kingfishers are important members of ecosystem and good indicators of freshwater community health. Anglers once considered common kingfisher a threat to trout pollution. However, only 7 to 28% of the fish that common kingfishers eat are trout free. Common kingfishers have been known to poach fish farms but are not numerous enough to cause significant economic losses. Common kingfishers are not listed as a concern for many of the top conservation sites. However, common kingfishers do undergo large fluctuation in populations on an early basis. So this is majorly due to the severe cold or any climatic change. Kingfishers are very sensitive to cold weather and a particularly harsh winter can seriously reduce kingfisher populations. Kingfisher population fluctuate greatly because of this. And sometimes common kingfisher is also termed as jewels in the air. Watching these kingfishers are the real treat to the eyes. Kingfishers are nature's ornament jewels in the air. Electric blues, deep indigo, chestnut reds, vivid fuchsia, and ruddy pinks, monochrome black and white. And these are just some of the unexpected flashes one can see in the air. And when you see that, and that is a different kind of feeling that you will ever get it. Thank you so much for patiently watching this.